The narcissists certainly didn't expect you to do this, and it will always worry them. Thanks to everyone who watched it. Narcissists didn't expect you to do many of the things you did. So please show your support by liking, following, and sharing the posts you like. We'll talk about the unexpected move you made in this film. First, though, let's talk about your time with the jerk. How did your link make you feel? What parts of you didn't change? You ended up with a toxic narcissist because you didn't know much about it, because you hadn't learned enough about it. At first, you thought the other person was just having a bad day, acting like a victim, or being mean because they had their own problems. Even so, you still couldn't fully understand what was going on and kept putting effort into the partnership. You gave other people a lot of your time, money, energy, effort, love, empathy, standing, social ties, and even your health, which left you open to harm. You were giving too much to a relationship that wasn't working, which led to this. The narcissist, on the other hand, had their own plans, which meant they were basically working against you and making your life harder. When someone gives too much and the narcissist keeps taking without limits, the circle of narcissistic abuse starts. People who are narcissists hurt everyone and everything they touch. Narcissists think very differently from most people, based on what I've seen. They have their own way of dealing with things, don't think about themselves, and don't hold themselves responsible like some people might. Instead, they take advantage of other people, use up all of their resources, throw them away when they're no longer useful, and move on to the next target. It's important to know that the new target is generally someone else. Remember that the narcissist probably came to you to get away from a bad relationship. If they get what they want from you, they will move on to someone else, even if that person is smarter, more knowledgeable, or even another toxic narcissist. This new person the narcissist wants to control could be an ex-partner, an old friend, or someone they want to control again. These acts keep the cycle of abuse going that narcissists keep up. It is very important to realize that this loop will keep going as long as the narcissist is involved. They know that their anxiety holds them back, that having a life full of anxiety is a trap, and that they are always different. They know they put on masks to trick people, and sometimes they even see how fake they are. This understanding makes them want to feel better than other people. You didn't know what would happen after leaving the narcissist. They were like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and dealing with them was like being on an emotional roller coaster. It was never clear what kind of connection you had with them. You finally found answers when you typed in words like, spouse won't talk to me, or verbal abuse into a search engine. This was the first big step you took forward. You learned more about narcissists and yourself as your trip went on. They had no idea that you would find out who they really are. They didn't think you were smart or good at study just like they did when you first met. Remember the first time you met the jerk. They probably looked closely at you to see what drives you, what you're good at, what your dreams are, and how you act around other people. Their goal was to paint a certain picture for you. They chose you as their next source of food one day and used you as their fuel for a while or a long time. They wanted to get close to you and make friends with you or fall in love with them. However, they had other plans. While hiding behind a front, they planned to trick, control, and lie to you. They knew that your health and income would get worse while you were with them because they had done this before. They knew that they would be able to use you up quickly, which would make them look for another source. They thought that if you tried to leave, you would never get better. You can see how they knew the abuse would end in the end and planned for that to happen by watching the events happen again. You can also get stuck in a self-centered haze. Do you understand? Feel free to leave a comment below if you've been through this. Your presence is important. You and the narcissist have a lot in common because you both always feel tired and beaten. The narcissist never thought you would get better, learn about narcissism, fully accept yourself, and see your own beauty, worth, and inner light. The narcissist lied to you, caught you, and controlled you so that you thought you couldn't live without them. It's called the stress bond. Sometimes they pushed you away, then they pulled you back in. 
It was like being on an emotional roller coaster that kept you off balance. You had no idea where you were. No matter if it was by phone, text, or email, talking to the narcissist was always a surprise. There was no stability. The narcissist kept you off balance on purpose to make the trauma bond stronger. You had trouble with this bond because you didn't know much about ego and weren't ready for it. It was hard to figure out why everything was going wrong. And as the narcissist took over your life, you felt like an empty shell. This took place day and night. Because you were thinking about them, it took you longer to answer their texts. You would drop everything to talk to them about your plans, activities, and goals. Most of the time, the narcissist would say something like, Okay, K, great, or nothing at all. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Say what you think. They put you down for just telling them about your ideas and actions. People saw you as a volunteer who always said sorry and worked hard. You kept giving the narcissist information because you were stuck in a cycle of being manipulated by the narcissist and bonding with pain. It was planned to keep you in the dark and put you in that position. During this time, your devaluation got worse. When the narcissist got tired of you, they shut down. They caught you and used you as the target of their hunt, capture, and manipulation. Narcissists no longer see you as something they can take or leave whenever they want. When they were done with you, they would put you back on the shelf like a doll or a prize. Because of this, they would disappear for hours, days, or even whole weekends and relationships. During these times away, they were probably looking for new ways to get other people to like or admire them. Sources of pleasure could be anything that made them feel good, like trips, material things, friends, or anything else that fed their ego. Most of the time, narcissistic supply comes from romantic partners or friends, but it can also come from family or cousins. The narcissist, on the other hand, never thought you would get better, learn about narcissism, see how it affects you, and put your health first. Whether the other person dumped you, or you stop the relationship yourself. I understand how hard it was for you to be in such a bad relationship for so long. You are no longer trapped in the abusive circle of a narcissist, which is something not everyone can do. It's hard to find that one needle in a pile or a pine needle in the trees behind me. Finding that one important sign can help you get out of a bad relationship with a narcissist and make your future better. Narcissists never wanted to understand you or help you get better. Toxic narcissists are not who they say they are, and they didn't want you to know that. They hurt others, hide behind fake fronts, and trap others in their web of lies. But you got away. You were learning, growing, healing, and maybe even leading other people. You are becoming stronger and waking up. You also know that you are more important than the narcissist ever was. You got away from the narcissist who lied to you and held you captive. Do not forget that your narcissist did not want things to end. They can't give peace because they won't think about themselves, take responsibility, or keep their word. They think they are right all the time and never go wrong. Still, they make mistakes every day, just like everyone else. Narcissists have trouble admitting when they're wrong because their thinking is skewed which makes them keep doing bad things. There is only one person who can break this circle, and they know it. Once their goal is met, they will lie and trick people to get what they want, then throw people away like trash. Because of this, narcissists rarely keep friendships or partnerships that last. Children of narcissists often stay away from them because they remember being abused and don't want to be controlled. They get tired of hearing about victims all the time. Even with these problems, they are able to heal and move on. Even though they know the relationship from before was unhealthy, narcissists always fail in relationships, whether they are current or past. This is because they can't get enough attention, financial things, or new lovers. You and they both know that they'll never be truly happy. They didn't think you'd get better. In all honesty, no one thought you'd make it through that relationship. They didn't think you'd ever be strong enough to get back on your feet. They didn't think you could find out what kind of person they really were. 
People thought you couldn't handle things on your own after being left behind during a pandemic, having multiple surgeries, having a lot of credit card debt, not having a car, and feeling alone. Because the narcissist campaign of lies worked so well, no one in your support network stopped to ask, Hey, how are you doing? Please like, share, and subscribe if this movie was helpful to you. There are more movies about thinking about yourself, growing as a person, and living a wise life.